welcome back to yet another video series on jQuery. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the jQuery attributes that we have. Now, what do you, what, what do I mean by when I say attributes? Well, here I've typed the attribute. What I mean by that is the attribute is the property or the attribute for a given tag. For example, the attribute for the paragraph right now for this one for the apple is right is class, and for the third one is the ID. Now, when I type here P class, then what jQuery will do is that it will return all the uh, it will return the array of all the paragraphs that has the attribute class. Okay, same is with this, with this. But you know what? This uh, this is not going to return, and I'll tell you that in a moment. Okay. Now you know what? This is to check what the thousand was. So let's just save this one and let's go straight to the video and let's see what we get. So this is what we get as we expected. The first one is the second one and then the second last one. Because the first one is the class, second one is indeed the class, as well as the second last one is the class as well. So that's what we got. But as you notice, this one is also a class feature, it's also you know this one is also a class, but the reason why it was not highlighted because it is the unordered list. It comes under the unordered list. Attribute. And here we have instructed jQuery to give us all the classes that are the, that are in the paragraph. So that's the reason why we did not get this one. You know what? Let's for the curiosity. Let's instead of P, I'm just going to type UL, the another list, and let's see what happens. Oh, here you go. This is now selected. The reason why it was not selected before was the UL has the ID and it does not have the class. Whereas LI, the list, has the class. So that's why it is all selected. Okay. Now, let's for fun, let's try the ID part. Okay. P and then I'll type the ID and let's see what happens. Alright, we only have one paragraph that has the ID and we'll just this one. Okay, so now we are working pretty good with the attributes. Now let's do something with it. Now what I want the uh, what I want jQuery is return all the paragraphs that has the class with that has the class or the ID that begins with the uh, para. Okay. Let me show you that in a moment. I'll just try it. Okay. Hopefully I don't know if you guys are using that, but it is indeed beautiful. Okay. Follows Okay. Anyway, so now what I want jQuery is return all the ID, all the all the paragraph that has the attribute ID and that begins with para. So the way we do that is by using the caret symbol. Okay. Now I'm just going to save it and it will return this one, this one, and this one. Let's see what we get this time. Alright, and even though this is different para, the ID is different for this one and this one and this one, but I just instructed jQuery to return all the uh, all the paragraph that begins with caret means beginning with. Okay, and let's try something. Let me try. If I am not wrong, let's try my please. And there you go. Caret means begin with and the dollar sign means ending with. So we just did that. If I now type let's say A1, okay. Now it will return the paragraph 
right here. This is written with this is the selector. It will return the paragraph that has the ID ending with A1, which is right here. A1. Now I'm going to save it. Go to preview and let's see what we get. Alright, we get this one. And it has the blue border and it has the red font. Why? Because we have specified here the font, the color should be right and the border should be on top. So this is what we get. This is the attribute demo. And if you want to select this specific, you can just type para1 complete or let's say para5. Then this particular thing will be selected. I'll get it. Control S for save. Upload the preview and you get the last one because they specifically told you get it to give me the paragraph that has the attribute of the ID for para5. So that's how we do it. <laughs>